Check it out. We are literally here in a hurricane. Well, okay, scratch that. It's a tropical storm. And it doesn't feel that tropical because it's cold. With these waves out there, they gotta be like, I don't know, 10 feet, something like that. But uh, tide's going down and I don't see any other detectorists. And uh, it looks a little hairy, but this is what you gotta do, right? Dedication. So we'll see what we can do today. All right, first target is the 14 and I think it's a full tab. Yeah, I think a lot of light targets will be in this high tide line. I'm gonna try it to like get bored in like two minutes and then go lower. Ooh, a nice 24-25. I'm thinking we got our first dime. What do you know? We got a dime. Dimes and uh, light silver rings are part of the light targets we could potentially get up here in this high tide area. There's some, uh, there were some good 12 and 13s in there, then you see the 14. So, got a little pull tabby on me. Don't hate it. Solid 13. Oh man. You know, I think instead of pulling the sand away to uncover treasure, I think it just added sand, just like the last uh, hurricane we got. So, not very promising. I'm probably not gonna get very long because the sand just does not look good. Oh, I thought we had another pull tab and it ended up being a nickel. Oh, here comes some waves. But yeah, there was, some, there was a 14 or two in there and it was a nickel, so that doesn't usually happen. Uh, yeah, good sign. Another light target. All right, guys, I'm calling it already. It's only been about 40 minutes, but it's just been light targets. We got a diamond or nickel and just a lot of tin foil and light targets like that. And the sand just doesn't look that good. So we're gonna call it and maybe check it out tomorrow night. This is what a deserted beach looks like during a tropical storm, post Labor Day. I bet if it was before Labor Day, a storm like this, people would be out here just like messing around in it. But I saw maybe a dozen people out there. Kind of sad and gloomy. All right, post tropical storm day two. Uh, a little nicer today. Ingrid will be joining us here shortly. And start out with a dime. Light target up high, high tide. And uh, yeah, we'll work, we'll work down. It looks a little better today. Let's see. We've got a little bit of a jump in high tone here. 21, 22. Might be like a penny spill here. I what that is, piece of a can of some sort. I think that's all we were on. Yeah, that's all it was. I was never gonna see it, so it was found by the detector, but it is a surface nickel. That's a pretty good sign that nickels are floating around up to the, and pushed around by the water. It takes some big ways to do that. This is a solid 13 out of the hole, so I have my hopes up. Just get straight down to it. All right, hopes were up, and it was a nickel. Point 
425. Another one in the dime range. Alright, we're getting, um, we're getting some light targets. Oh, it's a uh, copper penny, actually. Yeah, we're getting some good, good action light targets. There could easily be a small silver ring up here with them. Uh, we have not got anything heavy yet. But the tide is still working down. It looks like there's a pretty good slope down that way, so maybe at low tide that'll work out. Alright, I got my favorite sound, and I haven't had one in a while. They're, they've been hard to get. You got a. It's actually kind of blocky sounding, but it is a lot of 29 in there. have it along with nope never had it it's just I'm gonna try uh wow that's deep that's deep Try this trick. Oh, I think it worked. How about that? Oh, yeah, it's a green one, too. Merrill NYC detector says green. If you find green coins, you will find gold. Let's test that theory today. Oh, and look at this. another another deep quarter next to one I just found it's like a I don't know if that's really a coin spell but mother nature put them right next to each other Another one. Wow, this one's old too. That is, uh, I don't even think that's quarter sized. I don't know what this is. sound like boom all right we're in the money today this little coin line heavy coins another dime here and I'll probably stop showing these here soon but it is pretty much consistent with our uh, coin line that we've established oh and by the way this this hunt is sponsored by CC's Pizza because we ate like well me specifically ate like 15 slices so that's what you gotta do after that get a nine only in one direction really strange but I'm getting a little more six and eight in this direction both both ways now a little more like three and four which is interesting all right I think we have it out
this. JMV gold. Sorry, you probably couldn't see it. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't think that's real gold, but it is not corroded, so I'm not ruling it out. Whoa! Hey. Oh my goodness, you scared me. Oh, what's that? No markings. I think it's part of the luggage. Plus the hem fell off. And it smells oh. like a penny. Oh it smells, it smells like a freaking penny. Oh. It almost went up your nose. You smelled it that so hard. Check out this coin. That's a quarter and to compare it. Yeah, a JMV penny. Is. We'll keep it there. Uh, just so you know, you have some admirers. You've got like three groups of people just staring at you for a while. Have you noticed? Ow. No. Yeah, that's cool. That, uh, yeah, that might be silver. Probably not, but it's, <gasps> don't lose it. It's about the same uh, weight as a quarter. Mm, that's not good. No, no, no. Sounds like a coin. Yeah, this is tough to make out, but that's a quarter in comparison. So slightly bigger. The last time I found something like that was an Australian florin okay, from 1920 that. something. Oh, I think it's got some. Wax she's been keeping and some cars. I forgot to empty it from our last. More cars. Yeah, we, we were on a heater with the cars. Another yeah. one. Yeah, I'm gonna right. keep them. Her goal is one shark tooth today. We found one yesterday, but it was microscopic and we lost it. <laughs> I'm gonna go search by the pier. Okay, there's a good coin line here, but. Yes. Uh, you haven't moved. Very gonna, much. I'm gonna lose it because it turns brown. Little different sound here. Solid 18. Possible candidate would be a penny. I'm hoping it's a fishing weight. That'd be a much better sign than a penny. A little competition just showed up too though, so we gotta start moving a little quicker. I thought it was like a, a ring for a second. It is a ratty old penny. I don't think it's spendable, but we'll try to hang on to it. Just talked to another detectorist here. Got a good sound right here, by the way. And uh, we talked for a minute, and then as I went to start hunting again, another detectorist came out. So they are privy to this storm being done. Uh, sounds a little light. Maybe some fishing tackle. Well, whatever it is, we got it. Gold in color. That is most definitely fishing tackle. Had a little 19, thought we'd be looking at a penny. I looked down and I'm almost stepping on this hook. So that might not be treasure, but that is good to get off the beach. For sure. Hey, I'm scared I might hook myself yet. I believe we got a tiny little piece of fishing tip here. There. Line goes there. Fish pulls. Use the rest of what we found. We might go fishing. Okay, I found a low tone and I've been finding a lot of tooth shaped items. And I don't know. Could this be a gold tooth cap? I'm going to definitely take it home and test it and find out. A lot of eights in there. Six, eight, ten, low tones. A little jumpy now. Uh, what did we just find that was jumpy like that? Probably fishing. Fishing tackle. Oh, 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 nail clippers. 
No. A uh, barrette. Here is a quick wrap up. Uh, this coin, it ended up being a like a Sacagawea or not Sacagawea, Ben Franklin's on it, I guess, but a dollar U.S. coin. Uh, two quarters, five, eight dimes, four nickels, four pennies, one. Yeah, this one was copper, and a couple zincs, mostly trash. Uh, this we scratched. And it just, you could tell when you scratched it, it was like screechy and didn't sound good. So I don't think it's anything. Then this, um, interesting, scratched really nice. And I put S on it and it's holding up. I'm going to take you and show you. Whoa. Okay, I guess it doesn't like that light. So the top one was the little tooth looking thing. You can tell the, the side on the right is silver. Oh shoot, I got acid dripping. Okay, the right side is silver on the top. And it turned it like a goldish green, and then the left side was gold. And it kind of turned it goldish green. I assume it's fake. I don't know, maybe silver. Then the bottom one, the right side, I tested for silver first. Then everything on the left is, uh, well, it was 10 carat there and 14 carat there. And they converged. And, uh, yeah, it's sitting strong. So if anyone knows better than me... Let me know in the comments. But it kind of looks like it might be gold. Because it's not disappearing at all. And it scratched really smooth. So yeah, not a bad hunt, especially if that's gold. But I still do not know.